Ah, cheese. Those good old fashioned fermented milk curds. Made by adding bacteria to milk and letting it ferment. Sometimes it has holes, sometimes it's a brick. Some are yellow, some are white, and some have mold that turn them blue. Some popular genres of cheese include cheddar, Swiss, Parmesan, Kobe Jack. You can use cheese for a multitude of things. Eating a burger, American. Schmackin' on a pizza, mozzarella. A single dad with two kids, Velveeta. Cheese, of course, is not a new invention by any means. The origin of cheese dates back all the way to roughly 12,000 BC, almost as old as our commander-in-chief. The story goes that a man was trekking through the desert, and with him he had some milk and a cow skin. Whenever he reached his destination, the milk was said to have clumped together, creating the first ever cheese. This hot new invention went along nicely with the agricultural revolution, being very popular among the Sumerians. Cheese was a staple of ancient agriculture. It was even documented in the pyramids of Giza. As society spread, cheese spread with it. When China was first being influenced by outside cultures, cheese was right there. By this point, cheese had become so popular that it was mentioned not once, not twice, but three times in the Bible. Cheese was such a major food in the ancient world that it was often enjoyed by high-ranking Roman officials, including Julius Caesar, who loved cheese almost as much as the Celtics. <clears throat> <clears throat> After the fall of the Roman Empire, cheese still continued to lead the way, being enjoyed by many peasants and rats in the Dark Ages. You know, the same rats that caused the Black Death, the Black Death, a disease that wiped out roughly 50 million people. About 100 years after the deaths of those 50 millions was the Renaissance, a time of art, culture, and food. Especially bread. Oh, and, and, and cheese. Cheese was, cheese was there too. Around this time was the time when we saw the ground cheese explosion. We got free for your toilet, mozzarella for your spaghetti, ricotta for your risotto. Meanwhile, while most Italians were discovering cool cheeses, some lame guy named Christopher Columbus was out discovering another world or something. This new world was eventually named America. Hey, that's a cheese. And then, a ton of British farmers began fleeing in religious persecution and landed in America. These people built themselves little cottages. That's another cheese. And then some of them began to farm cheese. There were also some dads declaring freedom or something along those lines. One of those dads was even quoted as saying, I confess that if I could find in any Italian travels a receipt from making Parmesan cheese, it would give me more satisfaction than a transcript of any stone whatsoever. As this new foundation of America began to spread west, cheese played a major factor. Out in the Wild West and on the eastern seaboard, cheese production boomed. All this milk from cattle were sent on trains to be manufactured in the cities into, you guessed it, cheese. This major cheese production would continue into modern day, where the government stores roughly 1.4 billion pounds of cheese underneath Missouri. Hello, ladies and gents. I'm outside of the Not National Cheese Festival. Sir, what are your thoughts on cheese? I, oh. I love cheese. Ew. I love it so much. Uh, I'm feeding. <laughs> Clearly, cheese has become a major staple of modern society, and that is for good reason, too. Cheese has followed us throughout all of history, from its delicious flavor to rich history. Cheese truly embodies our human spirit, our dedication to a cause, proof that our past sticks with us. Every person for the past several thousand years has been influenced by cheese in some way. Cheese itself can be seen as the physical manifestation of our unbridled human spirit for creation, which leads us to the capital of this human spirit, a place where all cheese meets, the crossroads of human history, what our cheese, what our legacy has built up to. A place that physically represents the peak of human spirit, Wisconsin.